In this video I'm going to make a few feathers and place them out along the guide curves that we laid out in the previous video. So I'm gonna move on and create more guide curve sets for the upper part of the wing. Second thing I want to import is my guide set, so I'll start importing the left outer flight feather wing guide set. Since we carefully laid out our guide curves with a specific length, we'd like our feathers to attain that value. What we have here is the x, y and z coordinates. I'm going to multiply the y coordinate. I'm going to use text edit to change my pgyetimaya.mart file. Once open, Maya is pointing to a specific plugin path. We want to replace this path with where Yeti is installed. Procedural search path. This path needs to lead to your Arnold procedural. Select both of my joints and then the geometry to constrain it to. And I run my script. You'll see that it creates two follicles, one for each joint selected. The last expression to the Yeti node. So type in the name of the Yeti node. The attribute we want to change is the dot Yeti variable v. Once done, we can see that the instances are aiming at the locator. And again, if I switch it back, no fur. So it's important to keep that in mind when connecting to the merge node. Now this one feather is very bendy and stretchy. You can dial up both the twist resistance and the damp to make the feather move less violently around. 